All right, welcome back everybody. Let's go over question four for the statistics sample final exam. Here it shows the, uh, the table below describes the smoking habits of a group of 1,156 asthma sufferers. So here, um, if you look at the table given to us, notice that we have um, 601 men, right? We have 555 women, so for a total of 1,156 people in total. Um, out of these 601 men, 431 are smokers, 50 are, are occasional, I'm sorry, 431 are non-smokers, uh, 50 are occasional smokers, 71 are regular smokers, and 49 are heavy smokers. And the same data value for the women. And this shows the total number of non-smokers out of the men and the women, and the total number for the occasional smokers for the men and the women, and so on. So here, um, let's look at the first question. It says, if one of those people is selected ran randomly selected, find the probability that the person is a man or a heavy smoker. Round to three decimal places as needed. All right, so um, if you feel like you just want to see what the answer is very quickly, you could kind of fast forward the video. What I was planning on doing was showing some some of the basic ideas of probability so we have a good idea or a good understanding of what's happening. If I just go show what the answer is, um, it won't be as meaningful or powerful if, I, if we kind of like build up to it. Granted, if you don't feel comfortable with probability, but yeah. Okay, so let's just do a quick mini lesson on and review of probability. Um, let's go over this example together. Here, uh, the person is a female the person is a Republican, the person is both a female and a Republican, all right? So let's imagine we have somebody, right? Let's say we have some sort of female, all right? This is our very pretty female, pretty lady. And this woman is, I mean, she, this is a female and she's a Republican. Is this possible? Can someone be a female and a Republican? Yes, this is possible, okay? And when, we, when this happens, we say that two events are not mutually exclusive if they can occur at the same time. So notice that a f you could be a female and a Republican. Because you could be both these things at the same time, we say you're not mutually exclusive. Here, let's look at this example. The person, so let's say if we have some person, right? And um, this person is a Democrat, this person is a Republican, this person is a Democrat and a Republican. Now notice, you can't be both a Democrat and a Republican. You have to be either or. So in this example, two events are mutually exclusive if they cannot occur at the same time. So this will be an example of mutually exclusive, right? We'll write that as ME. And this example over here is not mutually exclusive, okay? And for this one. And the, the formulas for mutually exclusive. So here, the, if, if an event is mutually exclusive, we could just say that the probability of A or the probability of B is equal to the probability of A and B. And for not mutually exclusive, we could say that the formula would be the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B, right? And we'll do some examples together. So for example, what are scenarios of not mutually exclusive? Picking up a king or a club. So let's say if I wanted to find, let's say you have a deck of cards and I said, what's the probability of you picking up a king or a club? So let K, so let's see, probability of, here we just do this one together, king or club. Notice that is this an idea of mutually not mutually exclusive? It is because you a card can be a king and it could be a club. So what's the probability of a king out of a deck? It's four out of 52, right? There are 52 cards and there are four kings. What's the probability of a club? There are 13 clubs out of 52. Minus, what's the probability of a king and a club how many kings and club, how many cards are a king and a club? There's one of them. So it's one over 52. So then this becomes 17 minus one is 16 over 52. 
and you know you could uh, how would I simplify this this would be uh, 8 over 26 or uh, 4 over 13 right and then we simplified it okay so let's take a look at this example here it's saying if one of these oops sorry it's saying if one of these people were selected at random what's the probability that the person is a man or a heavy smoker right so is this mutually exclusive or not so that that'll be the question over here mutually exclusive or not mutually exclusive and in this scenario this is not mutually exclusive because the person you could be a man and you could be a heavy smoker so we're gonna have to use this formula of probability of a or b is equal to the probability of a plus the probability of b minus the probability of a and b okay and here what are let me zoom out a little bit okay um, here so what's the probability of a man or here we'll write HS as heavy smoker okay so this is equal to the probability of man plus the probability of heavy smoker minus the probability of all the men and heavy smokers okay so here what's the probability of being a man it's 601 out of 1156 what's the probability of being a heavy smoker it is 88 out of 1156 and what's the probability of all the men who are heavy and are heavy smokers it is 49 over 1156 and here if you were to here if you were to do the probability for this you would get I mean if you were to add these three numbers you get 640 over 1156 and then this could be reduced to um, 160 over 289 and what could you do here if you want to use your calculator because the question says round to three decimals uh, we could do 160 divided by 289 and that's 0.553 oops sorry it's uh, 0.5536 so this would be point five five three six but then that becomes uh, point five three uh, three four right because the six rounds this up okay let's look at the next one here if one of those people is randomly selected find the probability that the person is a regular smoker given that the person is a woman so here we need to use the uh, conditional probability all right probability and what is how does this work what's the formula for condition conditional probability it'll be here I'll write it down for us or I mean I already have it for us and it's uh, it'll look something like this so what's the probability that the second event B occurs given that the first event a has already occurred here what are we talking about here it's saying that if one of the people are selected at random What's the probability that the person is a regular smoker given that it was a woman at first, right? Um, what you could do here is we're going to have the probability, I'm sorry, just the probability of regular smoker given that it's a woman, right? And by this will be our event B, and this will be our event A. And according to our formula over here, it'll just be here. This is our B and this is our A. We just have the probability of woman and uh, regular smoker over the probability of woman. Okay. And here the probability of woman and regular smoker is there are how many? It's 86 out of... 1156 so here it's 86 over 1156 divided by let's see the probability of being a woman is 555 over 
1156. And here, if you divide these two fractions, you should have 86 over 555. And let's see, if we were to do this into the calculator, 86 divided by 555, and that's 0.1549, or that's equal to 0.155, okay? And if you're confused, you're like, oh, wait, how did I get this fraction? How did I go from this to this? Just think about uh, keep change, keep change flip. So it's just going to be 86 over 1,156 divided by 555 uh, divided by 1,156. So you keep this, right? You change this, and then you flip these two. So it should be 86 over 1,156 times 1,156 over 555. And notice that these two cancel, so you're left with that 86 over 555. That's how I went from here to here. And yeah, okay. Um, I hope this helped. What I have for you guys is, here are some questions that will help you go over this probability. What you could do is, you can copy this down, right? This scenario here. Here we have uh, the medal distributions from the 2000 Summer Olympics shown below. And here, I don't have the total values for each of these. So this you could, you could solve by yourself. But try and fill the tables out just like we had in the previous example. And try and answer these questions over here. It says, A, find the probability that the medal winner was from the United States, and so on and so on, all right? Um, take your time, pause the video, uh, try and do these questions by yourself. Don't just, you know, look at my solutions and say that's it. You know, try and do these questions by yourself, and then we'll go over it together um, in the next video, okay? I'll see you.